Tim's going to go over the Washington Commanders. The Washington Commanders' regular season win total is at eight and a half. Tim, I'm perplexed by this team. Good defense. I don't know what they're doing on offense. Um, talk to me about the over-under win total on this. Where, where, what are you thinking? Oh, I know that when we get in, ter in terms of games with this team, you're going to look at unders. Uh, I'm going to take the over with win total, though. I know it's going to be one of the probably more of the contrarian looks because everybody's going to go after the Eagles. Everybody's going to go after the Cowboys. I think I'm the Eagles not. are overrated, so I like where your head's at. I, and the thing is with the NFC least, um, normally <laughs> you get – normally they split. Like everybody splits games against each other. Like I right. could see the, the commanders are going to go one and one against the Eagles, the Cowboys, and the Giants. So that's okay. three. Three, three. three. When I look at, that's what I kind of see. Commanders start off with the Jaguars. That should be a win. That should very at home against Jaguars. That should be a win. Right. At your Lions, that one's a toss up, and it's a loss. Uh, well, we'll see when we get down there, but I, I could see them winning that game. Uh, right. And then I mentioned the other two Titans. I think the Titans are overrated, but I think Titans probably win in Washington. They get the Bears. They should beat the Bears. They get the Packers. Uh, Packers is probably not going to be a good game for them. Colts not going to be a good game for them. Vikings at at uh, Washington. I could see Jeez. it. That one should be a close one. Um, once again, I, I said they split against the entire division. Right. Texans. I they should be able to beat the Texans. Falcons, they should be able to beat the Falcons. Um, and then I think they could beat the Browns later on in the year as well. I'm all I'm asking is for them to go over 500. And honestly, if they go nine and eight, they could very well win this division. I, I feel yeah. like this division is just gonna be that bad again. I agree. Uh, last year we saw what the the Cowboys won it, they were 12 and five. 12 and five. That was, that was kind of like a, a weird year. A little flash. Uh, normal, plan, normally you don't see that many wins from a NFC East team. Um this year, I think they beat up on each other. I, I can even see the Commanders taking both games against the Giants. Um, like I, I can see this team going nine and eight, and I think that's that's about their peak. But I think that's what we're going to do. So when it comes to it, I'm taking a little bit of a contrarian angle. Honestly, I don't hate it. Even I, I know I've been probably been hanging out with Higgs too much. <laughs> Take a sprinkle on the Commanders to win the division. I think that can. Be I will say this: well. they ended at seven and ten last year. Asking them to go nine and eight, I think, is very doable for them. Um, and I think, I think that they I'll be honest with you, I think they fall right there at that eight nine win. So this is a tough. Well, and, right and then there, the way I look you know. at it is, um, and I know I probably people might not think it. Carson Wentz is the upgrade over uh, Henneke, one hundred percent. And I think that Carson Wentz could account for two wins. So, sure. especially in division games. And that's why I think they'll have a good shot against like the Eagles. So now I, I think this is a team that a lot of people are going to just pass over and say, up oh, Eagles win the division or Cowboys win the division or whatever may happen. Um, I think the commanders have a decent shot. So I'm going to take their okay. win total over. Fair. I like it, Tim. I like it a lot. Um, so Tim, uh, yes, by the way, James Mounts, James Mounts wants to know, is this a new show for him, right? This is the yep. new picks and power Picks and Parlay Power Hour. We talk all things football, college, NFL. Uh, we even throw in some soccer in there randomly throughout the week. So we're going to talk everything now that we're gearing up preseason. Uh, we're going to talk some win totals like we just did. We've been going through teams. Check it out on Picks and Parlays. You guys got to like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications for, so you'll see the new shows when they pop up and the free pick videos when we give out win totals. We went through every division team now everything so um and don't forget to check out that mgm sportsbook their promo up to a thousand dollars risk-free on the first bet all you got to do use the promo code morning when you're looking for them or uh, when you're signing up with them and the picks and pilot power hour monday through friday 3 p.m eastern that's when we're on tim tell us what you got going on over at uh picks and parlays.net oh well still rolling on with the baseball um, lots, uh, we got about a month and a half left of that. That should get interesting down the stretch, especially with some of the divisional races and that AO wild card is going to be a lot of fun to watch. Um, yes. and then, uh, CFL still going with that. WNBA is heading into playoffs in a couple of days. Um, we get NFL preseason right now. That's been rocking and rolling with Nick doing it. Uh, 13 and two start to the preseason. So good start there. 
12 days away from college football, which I'm excited for. Yes. And then uh, before we know it, blink of an eye, playoff baseball, uh, college football in full swing, NFL in full swing, NBA, hockey. Uh, you even get college oh, basketball man. in there eventually. Like This is going to be a busy time of the year, and I'm excited for it. Sounds good. I appreciate it, my man. All right, guys, that's going to do it for us. Don't forget when you're over at pixelparlays.net, use that promo code NFL, save you 20% off the entire site. Tim Earl, I appreciate you stopping by, my friend. We'll see you, I'm sure, on more Power Hours as the week oh, yeah. goes on. Till then, folks, good luck, unless you're against me. <laughs>